Hey, Nomadic Fanatic, Eric here. Just making one last video here before this this camera that I'm recording on has to be back. I have to return it to campus tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of uh, winter quarter, and um, my time with this camera has run out. However, uh, in the afternoon tomorrow, I am going to Best Buy, and I'm going to make a choice in a camera. I don't know what that choice is going to be yet. I have ruled out the GoPro, even though it's really portable and really, you know, I feel like I would shoot a lot more video in it all different places. I, uh, I've decided the GoPro is just not professional enough for me. It, it, you know, it, I just can't do enough with it that I'd be happy with. You know, I like to be in control of everything, the exposure, the frame rates, uh, you know, I, I want to actually have a depth of field and be able to mess with manual focus and stuff, so... The GoPro would be a fun extra item, but I'm going to get another camcorder. I'm going to purchase my own camcorder and accessories, and I'll be doing a video in a couple days on what I ended up purchasing. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, I'm not ready for the quarter to start. I am so unorganized right now, and I've got so much to do tomorrow. My RV is literally a wreck. I mean, it's <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. It's just it's unorganized. It's dirty. And it's going to take me you know, 20 minutes every time I want to move the RV just to get everything off the counters and situated in a way that makes it safe so that I can travel. I've also still got Jax's litter box up here on the couch because I moved it from the passenger seat that where I had it before. Um, I can't remember why I did it. I think... No, I can't remember why I did it. I just don't like it up there. I want the actual cab of the motorhome to look clean. Uh, so that's, it's been sitting here, and this has been its life, but I have an idea. What I really think I might want to do is take out this other captain's chairs, this one here, take it out and store it somewhere in a dry spot in case I want it back or need it for the resale value of this later. But if I remove that seat, it's still going to have this weird thing sticking up off the ground, about six inches off the ground that I can't get around. There's no way. It's like a steel circular thing that's always going to be there, but you know, I could build a little could build something that's up off the ground that encloses that and then also gives me storage underneath and then put the litter box on top of that and secure it. So that's the plan but like I, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do that. That's an idea. And the other thing is my water situation. I don't think I ever talked about how I filter the water for, for drinking, you know, but um, I do have a little Brita filter and I keep four little one gallon uh, milk jugs full of water for drinking, uh, for making um, hot apple cider or instant coffee or anything that I want to use for drinking, even my coffee water that's in my coffee pot. I, I filter all that water. And it's a long process. I end up doing it like once every five days. I got to refill those four things and the process, it just takes forever, but it has to be done. I, I was always really paranoid about drinking water from the holding tank of this RV. It took me two months to finally be able to drink the water. And that was after three different flushes, three different uh, cleaning systems with bleach in all the lines, the tank. And still, I was paranoid about it. Uh, thankfully, I got, I got over that fear, and now, now I actually drink out of that compartment. And um, I'm able to do it. But, yeah, I, I still filter the water and... I mean, I don't have any problems. I don't taste anything funny in my water, ever. The only thing that I taste sometimes is when I go somewhere where I can hook up into water, into city water with a hose in the out spot, and I don't have to use my uh, water pump and water tank. Sometimes then I can actually taste hose, like taste garden hose and everything, even if I, yeah. So that that's, yeah, kind of annoying. And then, anyway, this is my, uh, my last update before the new quarter starts, and I get really busy. Um, like I said, I am gearing up to uh, start that documentary, both filming and doing interviews and then traveling down to California at some point in this quarter. So things are going to get really busy. Plus, I'm commuting to and from Olympia to the coast, Aberdeen, because I got cast in Les Miserables, a named part, actually, and uh, rehearsals are almost five days a week. For the first two months, it's four to five days a week, and then it's going to be six days a week all night. So I'm going to put so many miles on that car. <laughs> so I'm glad I still have the car because obviously I'm not driving this 55 miles, you know, one way every other night from campus to Aberdeen. So it's going to put on some miles and it's going to be my, my, my workhorse. But I'll still be making videos 
And if you have any questions or suggestions or anything that I could film that you might find interesting from an aspect of someone living in an RV, please let me know, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Talk to you guys later.